Hey guys, Mike here. In this video, I'm going to teach you one simple trick that you need to do and master in order to identify monsters attacks faster. And the reason you want to identify monster attacks faster is because giving yourself a half second advantage can be the difference between dodging the monster's attack and getting hit. And it can also directly affect the amount of time you have to punish the monster. It's a very crucial skill that no one talks about. And in this video, I'm going to teach you how to be better than all the hunters and how to do that. All right, the first thing you have to do is go into settings and then go to camera. Let's talk about the most important thing, and it's this, camera speed. So I play on a controller. I think most people play on a controller. Here I have many options for camera speed, and you can see I put it on super fast. This is how fast it spins if I just hold it, and that's pretty fast. I'm going to explain why it needs to be that fast in a second. Just as a precautionary measure, if you think if it's too fast to start with, work your way up. So you have to, um, I would say start with fast or very fast, and then uh, once you get used to it, try to get up to super fast. That can be the break point between getting hit and getting an optimal punish because uh, the difference between very fast and super fast will save you fractions of a second, which can be very important. The other things you want to change is camera style is target camera. This will focus on the monster when I press right stick. So you can see in the bottom left hand corner, when I press right stick, I can toggle between what monster I want to focus on. And that's important because it affects this next setting here, which is target settings, large monsters only. So in that bottom left hand corner, large monsters are going to appear as the options I can target. And then you can put type one here. That means just pressing LB once to focus on the monster that you targeted with the right stick. So for example, here in the bottom left, I targeted Kulu Yaku. When I press left bumper, it's going to just target him like that. Now, some people will say this is the best way to target a monster because like if I'm facing this way and I want to target Kulu Yaku, I just press LB and it automatically targets him, right? I would argue that's not that good. And the reason it's not that good is because it resets the vertical distance of your camera. And that's really not good because seeing the XY distance between you and the monster is very important so you can get a perfect understanding of the reach of your weapon. And for some monsters like Alatreon who have mechanics where you have to dodge things on the ground, it helps to dodge those attacks by looking down on the ground like this. So you're basically, you're just screwing up your depth perception if you rely on the left bumper to target a monster. So with the control stick, I'm always trying to keep him in view so I can see what attacks he has, he's doing. And if he somehow gets out of my view, because I have it on super fast camera speed, I can always, within a fraction of a second, get him back into view. And again, by not using the left bumper like this, it's not affecting my depth perception by adjusting the vertical angle of the camera. So you can see my default view is always kind of looking downwards on the ground as well as trying to get the monster in view. So I have both an idea of what the monster is doing and I also have an, I also have a beat on my depth perception on the distance between me and the monster. Right, because if I'm fighting like this, it's like it's really hard to see how far away I am from the monster. If I try to attack, it's like I, I might, I'm going to be missing like this. But if, like, if I'm looking down like this, I can see exactly how far I am from the monster. I can see, I can really see his hitboxes as well when he attacks him. So it's easier, it's actually easier to dodge his attacks too when you look down like this. See, like, I already know I'm safe for that. The last thing you want to practice is adjusting the camera left and right, but not affecting your up and down movement of the camera. So what do I mean by that? So say I want to do a 180. I want to get a perfect 180, but not something like this, where I fucked up my vertical adjustment. I've established I like this vertical height. It gives me good depth perception and it allows me to see everything the monster's doing. But if I do a spin and I effed up my vertical height, then it takes time to readjust the vertical height. And that's time that you need in IDing the monster as well as punishing the monster. So till DR, practice making the camera super fast. Always maintain a camera view that always allows you to look down to some extent on the ground so you can maintain a good sense of depth perception. Also practice spinning the camera without adjusting the vertical height. Otherwise, it's going to take time to readjust and that wastes time. Hope that video helped and thanks for watching.